how to use Google Classroom. In this video, you'll learn how to access Google Classroom for online learning, including communicating with your teacher and turning in assignments. If you're using a school district Chromebook, enter your student ID, followed by at csdnbstudents.org. Click Next and enter your password. Then click Next. Whatever device you are using, the first thing you'll want to do is go to google.com. The first step is accessing Google Classroom by signing into Google. Go to google.com and click Sign In. Each student is provided with a secure login and password that is unique to them. Use the six-digit login followed by at CSDMB students and the password provided to log into your student's Google account. To get to Google Classroom, go to the Google Apps section, which is the icon made of nine dots in the top right corner. Find the Google Classroom icon. You may have to scroll or click more to find it and click on the classroom icon. You may find that the teacher has already invited your student to the class using their email. If this is the case, simply click the join button to join the class. If there is no join button, you may ask your teacher for the classroom code. Click the plus sign to join a class and type in the code. In this case, we will simply click join. When you open a class in Google Classroom, you'll be brought to the stream tab. The stream is organized like a social media feed where you can see posts from the teacher from newest to oldest. Posts can be anything from assignments to questions to linked resources. There's also a box on the left here which shows any upcoming assignments that teachers have given a due date for. Going through the stream tab here, we can see a few different kinds of posts from the teacher. For example, at the top, there's a link for students. And as you scroll down the feed, you can see a survey, some linked materials, and some daily assignments. Many assignments, like these two at the bottom, require the student to turn in their work through Google Classroom. This particular assignment also has a set due date. Be sure to click on the assignment for more information. As you can see, for this assignment, the teacher set a document to be created for each student. Click the Google Docs link to view and complete the assignment. Once your student has completely finished the assignment, you can click Turn In at the top right. You'll be brought back to Google Classroom, where you can click Turn In again to submit the work to the teacher. A helpful feature within these assignments is the ability to add private comments. Only you and the teacher can see and reply to private comments. You may also be able to add class comments to each assignment and post for more general comments or questions. All students and teachers in the class can see these comments. The Classwork tab is a good place to go for a more organized view of resources and assignments. Teachers can organize work and material into groups, such as daily practice and online resources, as seen here. Again, be sure to click View Assignment on any assigned work to be sure to get the full details. The Classwork tab also provides links to the student's class folder in Google Drive, which holds the student's work, and the student's Google Calendar, which holds due dates for assignments. You can also click the View Your Work button to view any assigned, returned, or missing work for Google Classroom. In the last tab, the People tab, you can see all of the other students and teachers in the class. This is just one of many places where you can find your teacher's emails. And parents and guardians, please be sure to provide your students' teachers with your own Gmail or email so they can invite you as the student's guardian. Guardians receive a summary of their students' work and class announcements.